What's up guys, I'm the Squirrels Nuts, bringing you a game of Operation Metro today. As you can see, I'm playing the Assault class, uh, an M416, ACOG, foregrip and tack light. Now, today I thought I would briefly talk about the Assault class and then move on to Back to Kark and Expansion. It's not that far away, it's going to hit the PS3 first, so I thought I would put together a video and just talk about what to expect and what's going to be coming. Before I do that, I just want to talk briefly about the Assault class and some of the problems and thing, my thoughts on the subject of the Assault class in Battlefield 3. Now, one of the things I've noticed is it's much harder in Battlefield 3 to revive someone, to revive a fallen teammate. Now, I don't know if this is an intentional thing by DICE. I mean, certainly in in Bad Company 2, you could almost run past the body of someone and revive them, which was probably a little bit silly. In Battlefield 3, I find that you have to be really quite accurate with your defibrillators. You've got to get down, crouch, really be right on their body and hit the button to actually revive them. This might be okay, except there's another factor, which is the revive window is quite small. So when a, a teammate falls, you don't get that much time to sort of, like this here, look, see there's a guy on the floor here, and I need to basically check the area because they're coming out of these escalators, and I, and I want to revive him, but already I can't do it. I've got to be really quick, so I've effectively got to put myself at risk in order to revive him by not clearing the area and making sure that whatever killed him is actually gone. I think that's a little bit of a problem. But, you know, again, I think it might be down to DICE just trying to make sure that you, there are no sort of fast revives um, as there was in Bad Company 2, which I think, it, you know, it was a bit of a problem, Bad Company 2. It's just a bit too difficult at the moment. Same thing when you're picking up kits off the floor. Um, I used to pick up quite a few kits in Bad Company 2. In Battlefield 3, I don't know about you, but I tend not to pick kits up at all unless... You know, I actually run out of ammunition, say, and then I'll pick a kit up, obviously, but pretty much I don't bother, and I think it's because it... You've got Again, you've got to be very accurate. There's this, you know, a corpse on the floor, and you can pick the kit up, but you've got to get right on it. And normally when you're faffing around doing that, somebody almost always spots you and shoots you, so, you know, it really isn't worth trying. And as a result, I just don't think that kit swapping happens that much anymore. I don't know what you guys think, but certainly for me, you know, it's not something I really do. Grenade launches on the Assault class. Um, I'm still skilling up the Assault class. I think it's very good on maps like uh, Metro, this kind of thing, and probably Send Crossing. The sort of close quarters combat where there's going to be a lot of running and gunning, there's a lot of your teammates falling, they need healing, they need reviving. Assault class is extremely useful. As I've said before on the bigger maps, Assault tends to be not so useful. What I haven't done is I haven't equipped grenade launchers. I mean, one of the things you can do is pack the, the M320 and not have the med kit. So if you want to be an all-out sort of attacking Assault class and not so much on the healing, which is a nice option. I, I think it's a good option, but personally, I prefer healing. You can get a lot of points and a lot of XP that way. Not that I'm an XP whore or anything, but, but it's just my preferred star more than anything. Um, one thing, it would be nice to have um, perks that you could use to... You know, like in Bad Company 2, um, you could... The, the medic could take certain sort of perks to enhance his healing range or enhance the effectiveness of his healing. In Bad Battlefield 3, the engineer can enhance his primary ability by taking the explosive specialization but for the assault there's no way there's, there's no specialization at the moment that can improve your healing radius or your healing rate for that matter and i think that might be a slight oversight i think i think dice should give us an option there i don't know what you think but I, you know i don't understand why it's missing it wouldn't be overpowered it'd just be quite useful i think uh, but certainly they've solved the you know the grenade spamming by what they've, the way they've done things this time around. I don't get um, noob tube by grenades anymore, but I do get a lot of RPGs in my face, so I think they've got to curtail that somehow, but I don't know how. Anyway, let's move on. Car Candice coming. 
I'm sure everybody's looking forward to it. I'm certainly looking forward to it. I feel the need for some fresh maps and fresh weapons and fresh vehicles. As you know, it's coming on the PS3 first, one week exclusive. When it does come out, I'll certainly be recording some footage and I'll put that up for you guys. I know there's a lot of complaints about the fact that it's coming out on the PS3 exclusively. You know, I always hated it when things came out, when the Call of Duty packs, map packs came out on the Xbox. It, it used to, you know, really annoy me. Um, the difference there, of course, was the map packs came out weeks, even, you know, a month before everything else. So on the PS3, we'd have to wait a month before we got what the Xbox had. And not only that, but Microsoft and Activision struck a deal where on the Xbox, they'd actually have double XP weekends, where that never happened on the PS3. In this particular case, there's, n there's none of that, and it's only a week, so in the grand scheme of things, it's not, it's not bad. But, um, you know, they do it for commercial reasons. There's going to be money changing hands. DICE and EA are commercial companies. You know, what, what can you do? We're going to have to put up with that. I don't agree with it, but that's the way it is. Okay, so car canned. In terms of weapons, we've got 10 new weapons coming in. First off, we've got the MP5 and the PP19. They're submachine guns available to all classes. Um, nothing really interesting there. I mean, the... The MP5 is a lot like the MP7. Um, it's just going to be slightly different. It's another extra option, but you know, I don't think there's much interest from my side anyway. Gets more interesting when you talk about the assault kit. The assault kit gets the LA, uh, sorry, the L85A2. Um, this is a weapon that's used by the British military for many years. They also get the FAMAS or FAMAS, depending on how you say it. That's used by the French military. Um, I personally loved the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2. I thought it was a great weapon. It had a burst fire mode and it, it was very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what DICE have done with that one. That'll be interesting. The recon kit, they get uh, the Type 88, which is a Chinese-made semi-automatic sniper rifle, well known to the Battlefield series. And they also get the L96 bolt-action rifle, which was from Battlefield 2. That's a very accurate long-range weapon. Support gets the MG36 and the Type 95. The MG36 is a light machine gun, much like the G36. Again, well known to the Battlefield series. Uh, the Type 95 is a Chinese, Chinese-made machine gun, uh, which comes back from Battlefield 2. Engineer gets one weapon, the Type 97 Carbine Rifle, which is apparently good for close quarter combat. And also there's the Jackhammer, which is a gas-operated shotgun with a 10-round drum. However, the way you get these weapons is interesting. You have to go through these things called assignments. So each weapon requires completing an assignment. And when you complete that assignment, you get a dog tag and you unlock the weapon. So, for example, to unlock the Type 95 LMG, you're going to have to get your support guy to go out and get 20 kills with an MNG and two mortar kills. Now DICE may change this, exactly what you need to do, but currently that's what we've seen. I think that's really nice, I think it's a really interesting way of unlocking weapons. I don't know what you think, but I think that's really cool. We also get a new game mode, game mode sorry, called Conquest Assault. It's like Conquest, except one team attacks and the other defends. The attackers start off with more tickets to begin with, um, so obviously the defenders need to redress that balance. It's only available in the Karkand expansion and only on two maps, that strike at Karkand and Wake Island. We then get three new vehicles, the F-35 jet, which is on Wake Island and Gulf of Oman. That's like the Harrier jump jet, if you know that one, it's a British uh, jump jet. You can hover and land vertically, that, I think that'll be really interesting, it's still only a single seater, but I think that'll be really interesting to see how that plays out. You get the BTR-90, which is a armoured personnel carrier. That can move six soldiers. You've got a driver, a gunner, and four passengers. That's only on strike at Karkand and Gulf of Oman. But it does have side-mounted light machine guns, so maybe the passengers will be able to shoot as well. I'm not sure about that. And finally, the new vehicle is the FPV, which is a desert patrol vehicle. 
It's a fast attack vehicle, much like the quad bike, say, in Bad Company 2, which I really, really miss. I love that. It, you know, it's great for just gunning it around the other side of the map, flanking moves, that kind of thing. It can seat a driver and two gunners, does about 50 miles per hour, and has a 50 cal gun on it. So that will be fun, I think. Um... Finally, if you've seen the latest Karkan trailer, you may have spotted that there are seven con conquest nodes on some of the maps. Now, I assume that's for PC only. What's going to be interesting is to see what they've done on console. The most concourse... Uh, I'm just hoping that we're going to get some uh, five node maps on conquest on console. Because at the moment we're limited to three. I don't know if that's a limitation of the consoles or whether they were just saving it for the... Um, expansion we'll have to wait and see on that and that'll be nice but when it does finally hit the ps3 which i think will be soon the uh, i will upload some content so that you guys can see it the pc has had the uh, latest patch out for what's that about a week now um we're still waiting for this on consoles i expect anticipate that it'll be at least another week before we see that hit consoles and i i would assume that that patch will contain all the information they need, uh, the client side data they need for the Carcand expansion so I think we'll see Carcand not long after the console client hits. Looking forward to it, um, can't wait to see what Carcand brings, uh, what do you think? Let me have your comments about the whether you like the assault class and if you're looking forward to Carcand. And that's it from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video in the background there. Sorry I didn't really talk about it very much, but I had a lot of content to get through. <laughs> that's it from me. Take care, guys.